the first thing I want to say, and I want to say f straightforward like that, um, we as a, a force for good, we don't have a political opinion on what party you should support. And if you're a Tory, fine. If you're Labour, fine. If you're uh, Lib Dem, fine. If you're SNP, please don't be. If you're Green, well, please grow up, you know. But other than that, um, we we do take an objective view on things. And I'll be frank, personally, I don't know if it's a good idea that people over 50,000 should have uh, their tax rate reduced from 45 pence in the pound to 40 pence in the pound. I mean, how am I meant to know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, I'm not an economist, and even if you ask a, a room full of economists, you'll find out that half of them think it's a good idea and half of them think it's a bad idea. So it's one of these things that people like you and I don't really have the ability to make a decision on. And indeed, why should we? It's not our, it's not our, um, it's well beyond our pay grade. But what I would say is if you're a politician and you say that I'm going to, that's what we're going to do, then you should be able to make a case for that and you should be able to stand by it. And you should not allow yourself to be browbeaten by the media into turning, uh, doing a U-turn on it. I mean, that was just incredible what we witnessed but what i also thought was very interesting was that the media already had it in for trust whatever you think about her and her taxis they had it in for her straight away and you know that by the sort of questions they ask now when i was growing up in the 70s and 80s the interviewers would treat the politicians fairly respectfully in the sense that they'd sit down with say margaret thatcher or whatever and they'd ask her probing questions intended to get her to explain her ideological position and she would in she would make a case for what it was that she believed in okay and you could take it or leave it but she was making the case for it but that was also because the interviewer was asking questions which enabled her to do that when you look at the questions now that are always asked of politicians they're never investigative questions intended to solicit um, an answer which will help to clarify matters they're not investigative questions they are attacks and you know they're attacks because they are based upon false or biased premises let me give you an example and this went viral on social media and it's what made me think about this it's she was asked on Sunday, on the BBC programme Sunday with Laura Kunzberg. First question that Laura Kunzberg asked was, how many people voted for your plan? By which she meant, how many people voted for the mini budget? Now, she knows, and Liz Truss knows, that the people of this country don't get an opportunity to vote on a mini budget prior to it being announced. So that's a question that is asked from a false premise, the idea that people get a vote on a mini budget before it's announced. That doesn't happen. So asking a question, how many people voted for your plan, is to ask a question based on a false premise. It doesn't deserve an answer. And so Truss was, of course, caught off guard and just like, what, what, what do you say to that? And no doubt waffled about it but she shouldn't have to answer that because that shouldn't be a question if you're sitting down with uh, an interviewer you don't want questions based on false or biased premises you want a question which will enable you to justify why you're doing something and so what you get and and then this she sat down with some stv i think it was stv reporter and this stv reporter goes do you enjoy chaos that was her question. Do you enjoy chaos? What? I mean, how is a politician, any politician, meant to answer these gotcha questions? It's incredible. Um, so I actually tweeted out, you know, these politicians would be better just talking directly to the public rather than going on and making fools of themselves on national television in front of journalists who are only out to attack you.